For over 15 years, the port of Luzira in Kampala had never received any consignment of petroleum products from the port of Mwanza, which is connected by rail to Tanzania's commercial capital of Dar es Salaam. When we use this transportation, our roads are saved. I was told there are some roads even before the 10 years, they are spot due to the heavy cargo. Uh, we are transporting on those roads. For example, we know Uganda needs a lot of fuel and it is always imported. You can imagine so far the tanks you have seen here. This is only Starbucks and only this is them to sample whether this service is effective and I'm happy that they have appreciated. Now, if we have all companies of fuel using the road, one, we shall have congestion, two accidents will increase and our roads will get spoiled. This new development is seen as a major milestone in the enhancement of marine transport through the central corridor and promotion of the alternative regional transport road to the business community. This route, for your information, has been rehabilitated. The meter gauge, 80% has been rehabilitated from Dar es Salaam to Mwanza. That means the transit time has reduced from four to days, four days to two to three days. So it's an opportunity that uh, railway can uh, uh, grasp and uh, utilize. So we as a railway, we are, in, we are in this transport business to make money as well. So we will partner with Starbucks and other customers to move their cargo at a cheaper rate on the route. So much investment has gone into the Central Corridor. So this is really a very welcome development for the Ugandan shippers. We're going to see increased trade, it's very clear, lowering of cost, and that lowering of costs means businesses can be more competitive. So let's put all our efforts together, private sector, support the governments what they're doing. This is a clear testimony that uh, with the right investments, you can achieve a lot of trade within uh, the region as well as globally. Starbucks International, a local oil marketing company, has taken the lead by importing one million liters of diesel via the multimodal transport system. Venturing on the route is inspired by the need for efficiency, cheaper cost, and shorter transit time. You know, uh, Kisumu and Mwanza look like co-wives mm. because they're all fighting for the same business for Kampala. But uh, we, as uh, at the center of business and uh, at the center of bulk fuel, we trade with both sides. And uh, this central corridor looks to be more interesting and we are more interested in it. And uh, today has marked the beginning of this venture and we have promised that we are going to continue importing through the Mwanza Port Bill Route. With increased business, more investment is required, especially in the purchase or rehabilitation of vessels. Currently, the bulk cargo transit time from the port of Dar es Salaam to Luzira port is averaging at four days. Since the resumption of the Mwanza port bell operations in January 2018, over 120,000 tons of cargo has been moved through the route. These are estimated to be over 5,000 trucks plying the route. The most common cargo are green by the World Food Program, roofing sheets, drip water, spices, and beauty products. Dennis Igoa for UBC Business.